Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Ga Gaia, and we are at the Decade Mark, Episode 10. So, here we are, we just defeated Carbon, and now we are going to revive the Genesis Tree. And together, we lift Terra. Although a wool's got to weigh, what, no more than 45 pounds? Someone please correct me if I'm wrong. Now, you go over here, you could talk to both of them, it's not required. But you just go over here, and touch the Genesis Tree. about doing this for every Genesis tree, the whole sheen sparkle circles. Shine! But I'm not going to. It sounded pretty good the first time, but yeah. Also, prospective LPRs out there, if you're working on a recording session, uh, do yourself a favor and Pinnacle, you save the project. Don't make it into a video. Yet. If you're... This is like the third part. I, for some reason, decided to make those last two videos, and turn the files into videos, which took about a uh, half hour. So I was sitting at that screen for a good half hour waiting. Which was rather stupid. I got to clean my room during that time, though. When I'm uploading these, I'm going to take a shower. Time management for the win. All these people. They're reviving and they're in prison. Which was worse. To... <laughs> Seems to be a pretty common theme, the one lag. The one lagger. <laughs> I wonder, did he lock himself in there with the key? <laughs> obsessed with his mustache. First thing he does after he awakens from being possessed is my mustache there? Okay, my mustache is there. And you can now absorb Siru with Noah. I'm not going to read this. Alright, now that you're done reading that... Meta increased level 2. Now, I'm not entirely certain what increasing their levels does, other than change their appearance. But the Frosteru gain like, different appearances every time they level up and become much more weapon-like. Ah. Why would I say no to that? Alright, and now we go back to Drake Castle. Hooray! Cutting. Now, uh, you will still probably encounter random battles, uh, and I'm just gonna check right here if I have a door of light. I do indeed use that. That way you don't get peppered with random battles the entire way out. This will teleport you right outside Mount Rikarua. In Rikarua. Rikarara. Wika Wuka Waka. Alright, I'm just butchering the name now. Alright. And now we go back to Drake Castle, so I will see you guys there. And we're back at Drake Castle! <laughs> you have to remember that she was, uh, she was raised in the wild, so she doesn't really know that much about people at all. And we are greeted to a royal welcome. Yes, we have, indeedy. Of course, he's named after the kingdom. <laughs> so... <laughs> this is called a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love this part every time I see it. <laughs> and 
and now we're basically forced to tell him our story. If we don't, his men will throw spears into the back of our skull. Yay, we now have the water key. Which will allow us to stop the dam and cross the water. Now, uh, bef uh, he still has stuff to dump. <laughs> Suffer, are you talking about dinner? <laughs> Well, that's a rather simple way to look at it, but yeah. <laughs> this episode's gonna be boring. It's mostly, uh, talking and me showing you different stuff. Alright, first thing you want to do is go over here. And take a look at this little crevice in the wall. Platinum card. You can only get this after the mist. This allows you to see secret items at shops. Not all shops have secret items. If they do, they will be outlined in blue. Like, the, um, Rim Elm will have Scarlet and Azure Jewels for sale. Which increase upper and lower body defense by 20, respectively, I believe. I don't know the difference between Scarlet and Azure off the top of my head. You could talk to all these people, but there's really no point in it. Since none of them give you anything worth anything, really, just talking. And then we just run through here. Run down here. Run over here, down here, and over here. Out of my way, old people! Old people! And... Unlike the last time we were here where there was significant audio lag where you heard the gate opening about a minute before it actually happened. Now there's a marketplace here! Hooray! Hey! And now she'll be gone for a bit, and then shh, talk to her. That's a fighting room. Oh! I'll give you a good price. Okay, thank you. I love it. Wait, hey, hey! You gotta pay. You know, money. What's money? But you need to buy thing. If you select, I don't know. I believe she gets it for free. Yep, exactly. Always select I don't know there because the fighting robe costs I think like five fifty. Ah. Well, I would like to buy, but, you know. Now, she'll give you a quiz here, I believe. Yeah, right here's a quiz. <laughs> Healing Berry increases your health by the maximum. Life Water increases your total health. Healing Leaf is 200, and Healing Flower is 800. We just used the Door of Light. Find happiness and go to heaven. Wrong! Now that I don't know. However, it's definitely not Mei, it's definitely not Tetsu, and Lazim is over in Rimelb Spring, so it's gotta be Watts. Process of elimination for the win. And I, I don't know what you get for doing this. Oh, 10 healing shrooms, nice. Ugh. She's incorrigible, she is. Hey, 
Hey, I wonder if you say I don't know if they'll let you stay for free. I have never tried this. Alright. Take a look at what this kid has to say. No, the other kid, the other guy. You should be able to stay in the back room of the castle for free. If you want to spend my, your money, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> Alright, go over here. First I, thing I want to do is sell my survival knives. I don't need them. Oh, I still have power water. And guardian water. Didn't know that. Alright, so as you can see, the ooh, the fighting robe is actually double what I thought. You can buy Noah a nail glove here. Which I do. Buy me the warrior boots. Her the guardian clip. And her the electric shoes. And that's all you can buy from this guy. <laughs> Alright, now you go into here, equip Noah with the fighting robe, which saves me a lot of money. Oh yeah, keep your hunter's clothes. Just, you know, keep them. Trust me, keep them. Alright, now here's the item shop. You can buy target and defender chains here, but I hardly ever use them, and you find a uh, pair. Cure amulets, you're gonna want these for later, but I don't have a lot of money right now. Healing leaves, I'm gonna restock up to... F so I have five. Antidotes, I'm gonna keep two of those, even though they become moot later. Buy at least one door of wind, and spend the rest of my money on healing leaves. Alright. So, there's not a lot of time left in this episode, and the next place we have to go is the Watergate. So, I'll fit that in this episode, and then we'll call it quits. Yeah, after the Carlban fight, this episode's really dull. I haven't even had to do... Well, I've done one jump cut, but here we go. Yeah, I'll cut it quits early after this episode, so just let me reset my timer. Go over here. Insert the key, and operate the device. Yeah, this episode is mostly, if not all, story. Unfortunately. I didn't even have a random battle on my way back to Drake Castle. Actually, we have time enough for two things here. First is this. Wind Book 1. This teaches Noah, I believe, Frost Breath. Frost Breath. Yes, Frost, frost Breath. Failure. Me. Equals. Alright, first thing I want to do, though, just in case I do run into a random battle, is heal myself. And we continue. Yeah, there are a couple new enemies here, but I'm not- I don't fight any, ho hopefully. Yes, no! Yay! And stuff. Uh, the rest of this episode is going to be cut short by Pinnacle being a douchebag and fast-forwarding. Um, I don't know why the audio lag came back, but it did. Uh, the thing in the left there is a phoenix, and the rest of this episode is going to be cut short by fast forward, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you all then.